Yeah, the last time we spoke at the BSAT offices, you were telling me that you quit your job uh, to go full time into mixed martial arts. Could you just tell me what you were doing before you became a full time fighter? Before, uh, I had, uh, I was working as a mechanical engineer and a personal trainer and a teacher in the school. Yeah, much more training and, yeah, I mean, it, it's like day and night, so you can't really prepare. But it's, um, it's more fun. I mean, that's what I love to do, so that's what I'm trying to make work every day. Where have you been training for this fight? Because you haven't just been training here in Sweden, if I remember right Yeah, now. I was work, uh, training in Fortis MMA in Texas, Dallas. Blah. Texas, Dallas. Dallas, oh, Texas. God. I haven't eaten up today. I was training in Texas, in Dallas, and uh, at Fortis MMA uh, with Mesa Chasson, who won the Dalton Fighters. We became friends there, and so now we train together for six weeks for this fight. So we've been really training super hard, and yeah, since last time I saw you, it was like I've been training so hard. So, yeah. But does that give you? I know it's hard today because we couldn't wait for this kind of thing. But does that give you confidence now coming to this? Fight on Saturday night because you know you've been training that Yeah, much. yeah, like you have another kind of level of confidence when you know you put in the work, you've done everything right, you've been eating good, you're like everything you can do, I've done. So I feel super ready. And finally, it's a hometown crowd here in Globin on Saturday night. What's it going to be like to hear the walk of music and make that walk to the cage here in Globin? I'm, when you told me about that, see, I got, I got chills. It's goosebumps. Yeah, no, it's going to be amazing. I can't can't ask for anything better and just to be here like the whole week now all my friends have come and you know it feels like you're home and it feels good.